Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today I'm going to be showing you how to set your inverter charger to charge lithium ion batteries. Now a lot of inverter chargers will do this even if it's not listed on the website. They will have a custom or user setting where you can program in custom voltage settings. The inverter I'm going to be showing you this on today is by Xantrax. It's the Freedom X which is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And the funny thing is about some of the Xantrax inverters on their website they will list the batteries that they're compatible with, and it might be lead acid, sealed lead acid, AGM, stuff like that, and then there's no mention of lithium or a custom setting, but I assure you almost all of their inverter chargers have this setting, so if you're looking for it and you don't see it on the website, don't worry, just give them a buzz and ask them about the model you're interested in. It should have a user or custom setting. And I'm gonna take you out right now to the RV and show you exactly how I set that on this Freedom X inverter right now. Okay, so what we have to do first for the Xantrax Freedom X 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter control panel to set it up for lithium, this is what we're going to have to do. And we're going to start with changing the battery type. And your way you're going to interact with the settings menu here is to push the slow button. And there's going to be a beep that I'll quiet down because it's very loud. So after you hold that down, now we're in the settings menu right here. You can use this middle button to select through your settings. And we're gonna skip right ahead to just setting this up for lithium. So what we want is setting number 20. There we go. So right now it's set for user defined, which is the custom setting. In order to change these, you're gonna hit the bottom button once. Now it's gonna flash there and you can select AGM, flooded, or gel or your user or custom setting. And that's what we want. And to lock that in, you hit the bottom button again. That is locked in. Now we're gonna use the middle button to go ahead to 21, which is battery temperature. We don't have to mess with that right now. Okay, 22 is gonna be our custom absorption voltage and also our bulk charge settings. And that's set at 14.4. Now you can check your manufacturer settings, whoever manufactured your lithium ion battery to get the proper settings. Uh, your proper voltage tolerances, but for the most part, most most lithium batteries are going to be pretty happy in the 14.6 to 14.2 volt range. And so that's why mine's set right there in the butter zone, but if you wanted to move that up, you could uh, push that button and it's going to go up by little increments. You can set it to whatever you want. And to lock that in, we're going to push that bottom button. I usually leave mine on 14.4 because it's right in the butter zone in between 14.2 and 14.6 which is pretty acceptable for most lithium batteries. Now we're gonna move on, using the middle button here, to 23, and 23 is gonna be your custom float voltage charge. Now with lithium ion batteries, you really don't need, I'm gonna do that so it doesn't exit out on us, you really don't need a float charge because lithium ion batteries really keep their voltage locked up really well, even when they're not being used. They don't discharge a lot of voltage uh, like like lead acid batteries will so really you don't need the float charge when you're using lithium you charge them up And then you leave them alone until they need to be charged again and so Basically if you do 13.6 volts or lower You're gonna be in pretty good shape because 13.6 is around the resting voltage of those guys And if you leave this panel alone long enough, it's gonna it's gonna exit out to the main menu on you So I'll have to go back. Give me one second here so there's our float charge, and like I said, you can really leave that as low as you want it because lithium batteries really don't need that. They don't discharge like lead acid batteries do. Uh, but anything below 13.6 is going to be fine for our custom settings here. So we're going to move along. Oops, we're not going to change that. Okay, now we're going to move along. Now this is the amps that your charger, your uh, inverter is, charger is going to put into the battery. So this is your charger rating. We're going to go ahead and knock that up to... It's maximum, and on this inverter, that is 80 amps, and you can lock that into place. But the basic settings for the lithium are done now. We're ready to go, and you're going to be able to charge up your batteries just fine. And you can see we're, uh, we're putting in like 61 amps to the batteries right now, so they're going to charge up really fast, and we're going to be good to go. So really cool charger. I've been very, very impressed with this inverter charger, and uh, Xantrax, almost all their inverters do have, uh, you know, 
a custom setting, which really helps you out. Because uh, then you can put in lithium or any other kind of battery bank that you want, and you can adjust your voltages accordingly. So that's how you do it. Hope that helps. All right, well, I hope I kind of covered most of that stuff in the video, just kind of looking at the display. Um, yours is going to be similar to that setup. You're just going to have to look in the user manual of your uh, charger inverter and uh, find out where that customizable or user setting is and set your voltage accordingly. You can call the manufacturer of your lithium battery to get the optimal voltage settings. But if that's hard to do, for the most part, lithium ion batteries are gonna be really happy being bulk charged and absorption charged to between 14.2 and 14.6 volts. That's why I set mine at 14.4. And as far as the float charge, you really don't need a float charge because lithium batteries don't just charge that power over time like lead acid batteries do. They hold on to it really well. But if you can't turn it off, you can just set your float charge to anything below 13.6 and you're gonna be just fine because that's about the resting voltage of those lithium batteries and uh, you're gonna be good to go. So I just wanted to go over that to kind of give you guys an indication of how to do that and to let you know that even though an inverter charger like some of the Zantrek ones don't mention lithium specifically, if they have a customizable setting or a user setting to program voltages, you're gonna be just fine and that's what you wanna look for and you may even wanna give them a call on your favorite inverter and see if they have a customizable setting because sometimes they don't have it listed on the website. So I hope that saved you a little bit of time. My name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club. Please like, share, subscribe. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.